welcome back to my channel, Filipina Yordanova here. So, it's been a while guys since we posted a video. Actually, I don't know, I don't know what is going to happen on this channel. I don't know. I'm not sure with the possible content that I'm going to make on the future. But as I was reading my comments and emails this past few weeks, I'm I become motivated to continue the YouTube, right, baby? Because a lot of people are concerned what happened to me, what is going on with me right now. So I've been busy, guys, for this month. Uh, that's why I was also not able to make a lot of vlogs. I make some video, but not super, like, about the life in Bulgaria. So two weeks ago, 10 days ago, I think, that was March 2. What date now, baby? So okay, last okay. March too guys I received an email from one of the Filipino from Michigan. He is going to move to Bulgaria as soon as he can because he need to continue his medicine his medicine degree in Bulgaria in Plovdiv. So after he scrolled some on internet and YouTube, he told me that he found me via YouTube and he is asking me a lot of things about how to adapt the culture shocks in Bulgaria. Can you please make a video about this matter? And a disclaimer, guys, that this is my life, right? If you have your own experience, I would love to hear that. If you have any suggestions or clarifications about this matter, then just comment it down so that we can talk about it. So, yeah, um, this guy from Michigan his father is american and his mother is a filipina is yeah going to move to bulgaria probably september so shout out to you thank you so much and on this video guys i'm going to discuss to you on what are the things that you can probably do um on countering the culture shock in bulgaria how is it a filipina from the philippines with 110 million population live normally in Bulgaria with 7 million population. I think it's not about the population because you are living by your own and you are living by your own, right? By your own goals and you have your own task and you have your own life. So yeah, on this video, I'm going, like, before anything else, let me just share you guys what are the tips and advice that I can tell you on how to counter the culture shock in Bulgaria. So guys, the first tips that I can advise you is try to learn, there's some beasts, <laughs> try to learn Bulgarian phrases like how are you, hello, what are you doing, how much is this, like basic helpful Bulgarian phrases for you to live easier in Bulgaria. So my husband, the first year was really hard for me, my husband is teaching me always but I don't adapt it really well <laughs> um, now I can say that I can survive being in Bulgaria without my husband by my side because you know not all the time my husband is with me so if you are going to live in Bulgaria as a student or as a single single one right Tate? Yes. then you are probably going to have a hard time to communicate with locals so study like hi hello how are you how to get there is it something like this so and then you can also learn from a lot of videos from youtube internet they offer a lot of free courses in youtube where you can learn basic bulgarian and then also you can also learn it by downloading the link app <laughs> It's very good application guys. The link is going to be on my description. So if you want to learn different language, then all you have to do is just click the link link up on the description below. So number two guys is use your social media account in connecting with people or searching for possible places where you can travel. Maybe you have a chance to travel, right? Maybe you have interest in some of the activities available in bulgaria bulgaria guys has four seasons so there's activities for summer activities for winter autumn so probably you have for spring yeah spring a lot of activities so if you have if you're going to use your social media 
you are going to see a lot of foreigners also doing things such this so maybe you like to do that and a lot of people also shares their experiences the prices in local the prices in local markets and the prices in the supermarkets so you will learn a lot of things by using your social media so guys the next one is make friends with locals so me i have some bulgarian friends here special mention to my friend anelia she is one of a kind bulgarian here she live like five minutes away from our house she is also living in the same village that's that's one good thing and if you have a bulgarian friend guys you will learn a lot of things about their culture she can also teach you basic bulgarian language and she can also try to tell you what is this what is that and yeah generally tell you a lot of things about bulgaria so next one guys is keep in touch with your family back home so don't cut the the communication always talk to your siblings family friends not because you are living in another country you are going to forget them yeah or, be alone be yeah alone. um you know what guys if you are having this homesick i think one reason is um you are the communication between the two parties are and not it, there anymore is lacking yeah yeah um always remember guys that it's not the distance that makes you feel alone it's the silence right so if you continue to have a conversation with your family your friends back home then it will help you to not feel very sad or it will feel you it will make you feel lighter right the feeling is spend time with people yeah. don't stay alone yeah so the next one guys is travel if you have a chance to travel you can do travel um bulgaria has four seasons there's a lot of activities on summer there is the sunny beach black sea on winter there is bansko pamporovo yeah gabrovo so yeah you can you can do travel and you can spend time with the nature and in this part by connecting your life into the nature you will free you can you can recharge your soul you can recharge your mind from thinking too much of the things that you probably shouldn't think about yeah you can show your family around also yeah you can do vlogs you can show the beautiful spots in bulgaria and also take it as an as uh opportunity to travel and learn. and learn from different people Working out so guys the last but not the least is continue your habits have your own habits like if you have an habits in the philippines or in other country don't forget that when you move to bulgaria because i'm sure that you can also do that here right and also take the opportunity that um, bulgaria has different season so you can you are you are going to have probably different habits probably on summer you love doing hikes on winter you love baking on spring you love going to some gardens and take some pictures do photography so yeah i think that's all that i can do advice you guys i have a lot more but that's all for today and thank you so much for watching guys again this is your friend filipina yordanova baba is coming <laughs> have a wonderful day in your neighborhood and god bless your beautiful soul everybody thank you so much